Hello everyone. Today we are going to project a cylinder in two positions. First, when the cylinder is resting on its base on HP, it means standing on HP. Second, when the same is lying on HP or resting on generator on HP. So let's take the problem. Draw the isometric projection of a cylinder of height 75 mm and diameter of 50 mm when it is first resting on its base on HP keeping axis parallel to VP. Second, lying on the HP keeping its axis parallel to both HP and VP. Now, as you can see, it's a cylinder. Say the base diameter, base diameter here is 50 mm and the height is 75. So in first case, first case it is resting on its base on HP, keeping its axis parallel to VP. So in first case, the cylinder is resting on its base, base is contained by HP or the cylinder is resting on its base or you can say that the cylinder is standing, standing upright on the ground. So this is the position and for this position axis from the first center to the second center from the top circular center to the bottom circular center axis is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So for the first case first we have to draw the base circular base here along horizontal plane along first and second iso axis then we will extend generators parallel to third iso axis or vertical axis last we will project the top base so starting from its bottom base now we know that for every geometry we have to draw some helping figure or helping geometry but here for a circle we know that the helping geometry will be a square, square of same size, size equals to the dia, dia of the circle. So, for a diameter of 50 mm, the size of square, helping square will be 50. So, simply we have to mark ISO 50 along first ISO axis, ISO 50 along second ISO axis and please use isometric scale for taking ISO length or for converted length. So this is ISO 50 and ISO 50. Next, we have to draw lines from these two points parallel to first and second ISO axis. So from the first ISO axis and from the Second ISO axis parallel to first ISO axis and then parallel to second ISO axis. This is the helping figure of the base or helping square. Now we know that for four center methods, we have to mark all four midpoints of the square. Now, why we are using four center method? Because four center method is the best method for projecting a circle. So, using four center method, first we have to mark all four midpoints. Then, next, we have to. line from the opposite corners or we have to draw diagonal which is larger in size. So here two diagonals are there, this one is larger, this one is shorter. So drawing larger diagonal next from midpoint to corner drawing lines from midpoint of the side, midpoint of the side to the opposite corner, midpoint to opposite corner, 
again from midpoint to opposite corner from the last side midpoint to opposite corner common intersection point 1 and 2 these two points are the center of rotation now starting final outlining from this is center this is your first center from this is center this much is radius we have to draw first part first sector of the ellipse second this is the second center from second center this will be the radius second radius from this point to this point again we have to draw circular sector from third point this is third point third center third center and third radius this will be third radius from this point to this point third sector and last center this is last center this is last radius this is last part now this is the projection of the circular base next we have to draw generators from all four corners of the square so drawing lines parallel to third or vertical isoaxis for a length of 75 again isometric length iso 75 to be taken so ISO 75 is say this is ISO 75 again we have to join all four midpoints of the sorry all four corners of the square again repeating process we will mark all four midpoints of the square side next larger diagonal next from midpoint to opposite curve midpoint to opposite corner and we will get the center, first center, second center, third center and fourth center. Now this is my first center, from first center and first radius, first sector, from second center and second radius, from third center, third radius and from fourth center, fourth radius. Now we have to show the outline or visible sides and portion of the cylinder upper base is completely visible so showing complete ellipse for the lower base only frontal part will visible so drawing generator first from the point of intersection of curved portion and diagonal this is the point and this is corresponding point right generator and left generator now for the bottom base only frontal portion is visible so this is final projection of the cylinder next we have to locate centers and we have to show the solid axis and center lines so from midpoint to midpoint again from midpoint to midpoint for bottom base process is same And from the top center to bottom center 
this is solid axis last dimensioning for dimensioning simply we have to show the diameter diameter is 50 dia 50 and height In last direction of observation, here both directions left oriented and right oriented both are correct. So, this is final figure, this is final answer for the cylinder which is resting on its base on the ground or on HP keeping its axis parallel to VP. Now, in the next part, the same cylinder is lying on HP. Cylinder is lying on HP like this, or the cylinder is resting on its generator on HP. So both ends are circular, circular base. So for the second part, we have to start from its base again, but this time base is vertical. So first we have to project the helping figure, helping square of the base here in vertical position and generator along first ISO axis then we have to project second base and then process is same so starting from the first base this is first point marking line or marking ends of the first base side which is 50 isometric 50 we have to take so this is ISO 50 next drawing line parallel to third or vertical ISO axis Again length is same, ISO 50 and from these two points we have to draw lines parallel to first and third ISO axis, parallel to first ISO axis, sorry, parallel to second and third ISO axis. So from this point parallel to vertical axis and from this point parallel to second ISO axis. Next, we have to mark all four midpoints. Next, we have to join opposite corners. So simply, we have to show the larger diagonal. Next, from midpoint to corner, midpoint to corner. Again, drawing line from midpoint to opposite corner. Now we have all four centers of rotation for the construction. Now, in this problem, we know that this part is visible, this part will be visible after completion of this problem. So, from the beginning, you can use the dark pencil. So, from first center, this is first center, this will be the radius, first radius, first part. From second center, this is second radius, second part. From third radius, uh, from third center, this is third radius. And from last center, fourth center, this will be the radius, corresponding radius. So this is first base or left base. Next, we have to mark the length of generator, length of the generator or axis along first ISO axis, which is 75. So from this point, we have to mark 75. Then we have to draw lines parallel to first ISO axis from all corners. So from the first ISO axis, draw a line parallel to first ISO axis. Again, from the third corner, parallel to 
plus 5x is and from the last corner again parallel to first i so axis. Next we have to mark ends of the generator for second base from this point the length is 75 again from this point length is or height is 75. So simply extending this line or drawing line parallel to vertical axis we will get the second center. Next from this point the distance or the length is 75 also line is parallel to second iso axis so this will be the third point and finally the fourth side is parallel to vertical axis so drawing line parallel to vertical axis or simply from this end the length will be 75 and drawing last side again we have to repeat the process repeating process marking all four midpoints then diagonal next from corner to opposite midpoint from corner to opposite midpoint these are four centers of rotation now here only frontal side will be visible so we know from the past experience from this figure we know that from this point to this point from this point to this point the generator is visible to us so here from this point somewhere here the second end of the generator is going to intersect with the circular portion so from the first center from the first center we have to draw the portion or part of the ellipse or circle like this but from this point this is center this is radius this will be the last point last end next point this is the point next center from next center this is next radius we have to show this part this portion is completely visible again next for third part this is center this will be the radius and only this part is visible then from this point to this point we have to generate like this Now mentioning for the diameter, we will extend these two points and the diameter is 50 here. Generator for generator. Okay, here we have to show the center also. So from all four midpoints, we have to draw lines parallel to first end. Second or first end, third I axis. Drawing line from these two midpoints and then vertically again here from this point to this point and from this point to this point. These are centers. Next, from first base center to second base center. line is showing solid axis. Now it's up to us to show dimensions or to show the length. First option is we can extend these center lines. Second, also the height is same. So we can also extend these ends and then dimensioning line parallel to y so axis and last direction of observation for this problem this will be the direction of observation now for the same problem if 
the cylinder is lying on HP, keeping its axis parallel to both HP and VP. In place of parallel to both HP and VP, the axis is parallel to say the axis is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP, then this will be the final position. So we are observing from this direction, we will observe the circular part or circular portion of the cylinder. So this will be the direction and for that problem only direction of observation we have to change. So for this direction of observation the same solid the same cylinder is resting or is lying on HP and we are observing from this side so the axis is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP and for this direction of observation the axis is parallel to both HP and VP. Now I request you to please solve both the problems in your sheet and please try to understand the basic concept of projection for cylinder which is resting on its space or is lying on the ground. Thank you.